All right, ladies and gentlemen, 1,200 miles and 18 hours from now, we are going to meet you down in the Sunshine State where the sand is so white and the palm trees are so green. Guys, everything is set in place for when we get down there, and it's about time that we reveal what's actually been going on there for the last three to four years, guys. Um, Florida is a beautiful state. You hear that we go back and forth monthly, quarterly, but now is the time where the proof is in the pudding, guys. Florida is a great state, a great state to invest in, a great state to put your money it really is, guys. I kid you not. And you are going to see firsthand how it gets done, what we do, how we do it. And I could not have asked for a better opportunity for the group of people that I've met, the entourage that I've built. We are a small knit group, but man, we work in numbers and man we we are powerful guys you have to invest in yourself invest 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 you have to spend money to make money guys enough of this talk we'll see you we're gonna be crossing from state to state starting from baltimore washington carolinas you're gonna see it and we're gonna take you firsthand guys we'll see you in about 18 hours guys see you on the next one Touchdown in Virginia here. Hit a little rain in Baltimore. A lot of traffic in Washington. But we're moving. We're moving. about this truck is I can accelerate and deaccelerate just with these buttons right here which is great so my foot is never on the pedal this whole ride right here we got 16 hours nine minutes and counting 239 miles to empty tank and uh, about 16 miles per gallon so we got a little over half a tank we should get there in another two hours we should be good Richie, wake the fuck up, Richie. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. We just made it here last night, 18 hours later. We are in the beautiful city of St. Petersburg, Florida. And right now we are offloading the truck. We have the big 60 by 30 inch American Standard tile ready shower base ready to go in. We got our 18,000 BTU condenser with our indoor unit right over there. We went with Fujitsu's Hyper Heat. So the 
this thing is going to be putting out some heating and cooling for the cold months down here in Florida. Uh, when I say cold months, probably about 60 at its lowest. So, guys, let me show you how they do things down here in Florida. We're going to be working on this new project here. It is a three-bedroom, two-bath, full kitchen gut, full bathroom gut. But I want to show you how they do things down here in Florida. And, man, see that lead trap right there? <laughs> see that lead trap? That is, whoa, that is not a pretty sight to see. And if we look at it any longer, it might leak. So we got some inch and a half cast iron underneath there that we'll cut and we'll transition to. And um, we're going to take out this lead bend right here. And this is going to get a full renovation. So guys, stay tuned. Let me show you the end product when we're done. But we're going to take you step by step of how all this gets done so stay tuned all right so guys we got our lead trap out we are going to adapt or transition to two inch pvc but right now we're working on this four inch waistline that picks up the toilet so we're going to transition to four by three come up with a three inch piece of pvc and uh right now we're just mapping out where our toilet's going to go our toilet was here originally and i think it's going to stay because our shower base is 60 by 30 so 60 by 30 we're going to mark right there we're going to mark right here 60 by 30 and then we'll do 15 inches minimum center which is perfect just right there and that's where our toilet's going to come up so four by three husky coupling Bing, bang, boom, get it done. All right, so guys, we got our three inch done here. We got our American Standard tile ready, pre-pitched, prefabbed shower base ready to go. So we're just dry fitting it now. We're gonna connect our drain and um, we're gonna have to do something with this subfloor. So I don't know if we're gonna sister this up like they did here or we're just gonna go right on top, but um, we'll have to see. We'll have to check, see if it's plumb, but that's what it's coming out to look like right now. Here we are. This is the front. It needs a lot of TLC. I think we're going to do, I think maybe all white rocks or shells. We're going to do all shells here. Uh, one of the entrances. This could be the kitchen. We're going to close this off. This is a sliding door. We're going to sheetrock it. This is going to be the bedroom, bathroom. This will be the kitchen for one apartment. This is the other kitchen for the other apartment. And that is the bathroom. This is going to get all laminate floor throughout hi-hat lighting and this is the bathroom i'm working on now so it's a lot of work but it'll get done it'll definitely have to get done <laughs> ladies and gentlemen good morning i just want to say that the truck down here in florida is a huge hit guys people are loving it and don't forget guys you are the light guys let me show you day two what's going on here but last night, we got a lot done here, guys. We really did get a lot done. We got rid of all the inch and a half DWV copper waste. We installed the two inch wash box here with the half inch hot and cold that we are using. We're using all half inch packs. We do have some pro press down there that we used. And right now, today, we are gonna set this floor. So uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how it gets done. All right, right now, we got our curb key and we're gonna test our waters that we did yesterday. So guys, we got our curb key here. Turn that water on, and we're gonna test to see what we did last night is good. So let's take a look, let's show you. Guys, the van is a huge hit, guys. People are loving it down here. Great way to promote yourself and advertise yourself, guys. Let's do yours next, baby. All right, so what I noticed last night is that this valve is broken, and you can hear the water rushing through there. This little three-quarter gate valve is broken. We're gonna be replacing it. But right now we're just gonna test this thing will not shut off so it's not gonna be easy to replace that but we're gonna have to dig a little bit and there's not much room here and i don't want to get involved with that so we're probably gonna have to unsweat this you can see there's not much space here and uh press on a new valve so guys it ain't easy but if it's easy i don't want it so let's go test what we did last night guys remember you are the light you are the light you can do anything you want out here all right now let's test to see anything leaking over here 
Everything looks good. Everything looks good so far. Everything looks good. Okay. All right. Let's remove this pan. Let's get it out, ready for the floor. We're gonna pull some three-quarter plywood and uh, start laying this floor down. Here we go. All right, so guys, we got part of our floor in. We're gonna leave this section out. We're gonna do this section. We're leaving this section out so I can climb under there and make that tie-in. We got our nice bed of Structolite here. We're gonna set that 60 by 30, tile-ready shower base, and uh, we're gonna show you how it gets done. Here we go. All right, that's what it is. That's pretty good to me. I'll take that any day. I'll take that any day. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're gonna step on this. I'm gonna let this sit. We're gonna tie that waist in under there. Yeah, we're just testing it now. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can see under there. Beautiful. Very nice. Just here. All right, now we're gonna roughen the new shower body. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what we got done so far today. The shower base is set, tied in, and tested. All new inch and a half that picks up the vanity here and that picks up the kitchen sink. Um, what else? We got all of our electric done here. We got two gang box for that we're using as a junction box and a outlet for this countertop outlet here countertop outlet here stove stackable washer and dryer 220 line that's being ran from here all the way to that panel that is right there boom and um right now we are going to demo this floor this floor is coming out this door jam is coming out this is getting sheet rocked closed off uh we do have a lot more to do here but the electric is done in the kitchen, except for the washer and dryer. And we're then gonna be installing the single-handled Delta shower body there. Nice, the window is out. Very nice. Exhaust fan coming out. Look how they capped it. They just, they just compounded over the exhaust fan. Unbelievable. Crazy, it's coming out. Power's already off. We're gonna cut power here and disconnect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was day two. And as you can tell of day two, there was a bunch of trash. Tomorrow we're gonna to be taking out the garbage. We're gonna be fixing the framing in the bathroom, start sheetrocking, running more electric. Um, ton of work here, guys. So stay tuned, stay blessed, stay safe. And like always, let's do yours next, baby. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, day three garbage day we're going to pick up the trailer to make a dump but just to show you what's going on here today guys we built our room for our stackable washer and dryer here so um, this is what it's gonna be this is where our kitchen's gonna end from here across here across that way so it's an l-shaped kitchen the stove is coming out my buddy Mike is taking it but right now we are still working on most of the electric here and um, we're gonna be roughing in that shower valve right there that single handle Delta that we picked up and um we're gonna clean up all these nails and everything we're gonna run three legs for our leds up there our exhaust fan and start sheet rocking we had to fur this wall out half of an inch right here as you can see we're gonna fur out the rest because that shower base was like an inch and a half too short so we're gonna fur this out um an inch and a half and we should be good so guys right, stay tuned and like always let's do yours next baby Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, it's free. Yeah? Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Give me a dad on it. Nice. I'm going to take it right through there, Brett. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning back in. It is day four. And if I do the math right, that is 96 hours. This is day four. At the end of today, it'll be 96 hours of what we've accomplished, what we're trying to accomplish, and 
what the end goal is guys we got the truck loaded up right now we're going to blow out that dining room area and we are going to close it off extend it a little bit and that's going to be where the new kitchen is going so um we're going to show you how it gets done and guys you got to make or you have to spend money to make money guys remember that spend money to make money invest in yourself invest in your brand whatever you're trying to accomplish promote advertise invest in yourself and you will get repaid all right guys it's saturday morning and it's a beautiful sunny 82 degrees out here you guys don't forget you are the light let me show you what's going on here day four in the 96th hour here let me show you michael i'm back all right how long was i oh watch your head will you damn did he miss a nail up there did he miss a nail? The kid yesterday? Shit. He did? Um, All right, I gotta yell at his ass. This is coming out today. This is coming out. This window's coming out. I'm thinking about extending it. Really? Okay, I'll get him. This is all getting coming out. This is coming out. All plywood. No? Okay. Two by four is plywood coming out. This garbage, get it out. One that's hot, we'll turn it off. One that's shocked me in. Okay, let's turn it off. Take my tester. Still live, right? Oh yeah, she's live. All right, let me know, okay? Give me a holler. Give me a holler. I'm gonna say it's... That's the one? No? I'll holler You holler. That's the one, top one, top left. Okay. All right, you guys really don't mess around out here. This door is out. It's coming out. Blowing this whole opening wide open. And uh, it's going to be one of the new kitchens. So take a look at it now because this is the before. And I would say in a week and a half, you'll see the after picture. Two. Guys, here we are. We're going to put our plate here. Two by four PT, pressure treated. We got our two by liquid nail down in there. And right now we're going to set our plate. Yeah. My ex-wife is on disability for a violent attack that happened 35 years ago. Really? Yeah. I want to make sure. It's going to be our new wall here. Our new wall that we're closing up. All of this is coming out. All these trees. This big oak tree. This big oak tree right here. That you see? That's coming out next. All of this is coming out. Everything's coming out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, day five. And day five is we're gonna be outside here most of the day because last night we were digging with our spade shovel here and we accidentally chopped right into the CBC PVC water line here. So um, we were trying to locate the sewer here because we are bringing this 
waste and water from outside to indoor here for the new wash box that's going in this apartment here. So guys, we are working with CPVC pipe today and this is chlorinated polyvinyl chloride. This is what they use for domestic water down here in Florida and they also use it up in the north um, in New Jersey. So this can withstand higher temperatures than PVC pipe and it is a lot more flexible than PVC pipe. So it's CPVC because you can tell from the distinctive yellow color. And right now we're tying into the hot, the cold, and the two inch waistline that's under there somewhere. So we're gonna bring this domestic cold, hot water line and waste into this here for the new wash box. So let me show you how it gets done. 